Hey, welcome back. This is going to be my week seven update on the ketogenic diet. If you guys are interested in seeing how this week went, please stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. So welcome to week seven. Yes, week seven. I can't believe it. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween and you guys enjoyed your time and you know, welcome to November. The holiday season is upon us, so I'm really excited. Um, how did my week go? It went really well. Uh, I did fight all the urges and did not have any candy on Halloween, so I was really proud of myself. I did make myself like some jello, so I had like a sweet treat waiting for me. Also, I did work out three days this week, which I was really, really proud of. And I managed all my carbs this week using the carb manager. So like every goal that I had set for myself, I totally kicked butt in it. Um, I did not weigh in this week. I will weigh in next week. So I'm going to weigh in every four weeks because if you remember at the beginning of this, I was not worried about weight, but more about inches. Um, and it, it rings so true to me because I was looking at pictures of myself in like August where I know I was probably lighter. Um, but my face was a lot like fuller. Um, I just looked stockier, whereas now I feel like I look a little bit leaner, which is the look I am going for. So next week I will jump on the scale. Um, but yeah, I was really excited for my week. I did, so day one, Monday, I worked out and I tracked everything and I was like, okay, I needed to kind of tweak everything. Um, because my fats and my proteins were almost matching. And when you're on keto, that's not supposed to be the case. Um, your fats are supposed to be more than your protein because your diet is supposed to be primarily fat, moderate protein, very little carbs. So I was like, okay, there's a problem. Let's fix that. So then every day after that, I got better. I'm really enjoying Carb Manager because it does give you those net carbs. It takes out all the guesswork that my fitness pal did not, and it's free. So, and it's pretty user friendly. I'm still getting the hang of it. But, you know, it's not very complicated. So if you guys were like, hey, what's a good app? I think this one's pretty great. Still only in the first few like days. It's only been a week since I've been on it. But I'm digging it so far. Um, my eating, like I said, it's been really good. I haven't had any treats or any slip-ups or anything like that. Um, I did last week tell you guys that we were having like a family over and stuff. And I had no mishaps on that day either. I didn't have anything to drink, nothing like that. So I was really excited. I did start my cycle... Thursday so that kind of you know put a little damper in it and I was like I was having some cravings but they were you know I was able to fight them off so it's been a very productive week I feel really good um I've really been also on taking my supplements so my leg cramps and all that stuff have definitely um you know went away I do notice that I am not sleeping that good Sorry, I am fighting a cold, so and I do wake up coughing, so that could be it. But um, yeah, I just don't sleep. I'm like I'll, I'm just not tired, or I'll go to sleep early and then I'm up early. So they say that comes along with the energy keto gives you. Maybe that's it. I mean, I went to bed like I only slept probably like five or six hours last night, and I'm fine. So I don't know. We'll see. But. Uh, I did run out of that natural calm, the magnesium supplement that helps you sleep at night. I am going to purchase that and take that before bed because it's supposed to help get your magnesium in, it helps with your bowel movements, and it helps you get some rest, and it's supposed to help with anxiety as well. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that kind of helps that situation because I do know that you need to sleep to, you know, recover your body. So I know it's very important in any type of weight loss journey, so I'm definitely going to try to fix that. Um, what else did I want to touch on? So yeah, I was working out, so I did cardio three days this week, weightlifting three days. I really want to kick it back up to like, the four or five days, but I definitely am starting slow again, but I felt really good. I felt really sore, but I felt really good. Like it was a good sore. It was like a good like, okay, I'm working some muscle sore. So I really enjoyed that. I just enjoyed taking that time out for myself again, and it just, I don't know, I felt really good about it. So um is it easy to fall off and be like, eh, I don't want to. Yeah, but just do it. Just go and just get it done. That's like my best advice. There's no other way to do it. Um, just get up and go. Just get up and go. Um, Leo's back at work now, so he was on vacation for two weeks, so that was a little different. It kind of threw a little monkey wrench in my daily schedule, but it was really nice having him home. Um, he's doing really, really well. 
um, on the diet. He's really sick right now. He has like, I think he has bronchitis right now, to be honest, but I'm not a doctor. So what else did I want to share with you guys? So videos coming up. I am, so I wanted to kind of just touch base about what's going to happen next weekend. So you guys know every Saturday I do come on here and I upload my, you know, my weight loss or whatnot. I have an awesome video that is going to be a collab with an awesome, awesome keto girl. Like you guys, I'm sure you watch her, but um, we're going to do a video together next week and it's going to be um, aimed at some Thanksgiving like side dish ideas, you know, like your favorite Thanksgiving treats. So um, we're going to go ahead and that video is going to go up on Saturday. So I want to hurry up and get these like these Thanksgiving videos out for you guys. So you guys have time to, you know, get your shopping in. If you guys want to make it beforehand, because I do that a lot with the recipes, I'll make it before I either share it with you guys or my family. I'll make like a small batch um, so you guys can get that in. And, you know, I know Thanksgiving or I know when you're on a certain way of eating, it is overwhelming when you're, you know, going to a family party or you got, you know, traditional family meals and you're like, oh my God, like, do I just cheat? Do I, and you're like, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to do this. So I wanted to also give you some options and she's got some great ideas. So we're going to do that. And also I'm going to have one more recipe that I think is going to go up the weekend, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, that is going to be a dessert option. I'm still tweaking it. So it's going to, I need a little bit of time. So my point is for next weekend, Saturday is going to be that recipe video are my weigh-in, like my weigh-in and my weight check-in is going to come up on Sunday. So don't worry, it's going to be up. It's just going to be up on Sunday. I just didn't want to put two videos up on the same day. So I just want to let you guys know that. And okay, measurements. Let's get into measurements. Okay, I cleaned my room. I know, crazy. Uh, but I have to pull up my measurements from last week. My bad. So this week, we have my waist is 30 and a half inches. My hips are 36 inches. My right thigh is 20 and three quarters. And my left thigh is 21 and three quarters. And my chest is 35 and three quarters. So I lost a quarter of an inch in my waist. I lost, oh, oh dang, I gained a half an inch in my hips. That could be from bloating because I am on my period. So we'll take that. My right leg, I lost a, uh, like an inch, no, a half an inch. And my left thigh, I gained an inch, or like a quarter of an inch. Weird. This could be attributed to working out or the fact that I'm on my period. I will put up the, um, like, comparison so you guys can see on your own. Um, I did take some pictures. I'm going to go ahead and insert them so you guys can go ahead and kind of see what the back-to-back -back is from day one to day 49. now looking at these inches and thinking of stuff and you're like oh well you didn't your inches weren't that great are you like gaining now or what's going on um i'm on my period you gain water <coughs> these are the little things that happen every few days this is why you can't put all your progress in a scale you know, because I just got done telling you how great I felt, how great my, no, I got, hit my macros, I worked out, like I didn't cheat, like I did really, really good. And then now looking at it, I'm like, oh, that's not great. But it is, it is really good because I, there are some inches lost. You're not going to lose five, six, seven inches every week. If you have a great more deal, great more a great deal more weight than I have to lose. You probably will, but I am on the tail end of my weight loss. So, um, it's, it's a slow process for me and I'm okay with that. Um, but my point is, is you never let these little things affect how your whole week went because it's going to discourage you. So always think, think about that and just use this as an example. Like I can tell from last week to this week that there was a loss. I could see it in my stomach even while on my period. So always remember that. Um, I wanted to also ask you guys how your week went. How did Halloween go? Was it just too many triggers for you guys? I totally know that that happens. It happens for the best of us. Don't be discouraged. If you had a treat, you had a treat. Move on with it, you know. But I just want to see how everything went. Um, so tomorrow's video is going to be a DIY video. Hopefully. I'm struggling with these DIYs, guys. They're just some of them are just giving me a, a run for my money, but they are going to be Christmas centered. I know a lot of people 
aren't feeling the Christmas stuff right now, and I understand that. But I am, I haven't started decorating yet, but I'm just kind of getting this stuff made that I want to use. And then, um, you know, I'll start decorating. So usually my plan is I will um, probably start cleaning up the house, taking all like the fall stuff down this week and kind of giving the house a nice deep clean. Um, and then not next weekend, but the weekend after that, like the weekend of like the 17th or 18th, I'll probably put up my stuff because I have work you know and work's been kind of picking up so I've been I work like six days in a row or something like that so I will be busy but I will have videos coming for you guys so no worries but um yeah let me know how your guys week went and how's everything doing look forward to that way in next week remember this this update video will be up on Sunday but uh I will see you guys later do not forget I am here I'm rooting for you I got your back let me know how you're doing below you know no matter what way of eating you are following I just I believe in you so you got this let's finish this year super strong because we can do it all right guys i will see you later thank you so much for watching bye guys